Well, boy, this is so exciting. Donna, you know something is really something. We were so thrilled when we found out that it was going to be you <laughs> presenting us with this award. I mean, it was just a surprise to us and because you were there from the very beginning and you're here now. We just want to thank you so much for that. I mean, it's just a, such a wonderful surprise. It's incredible. And there were so many others there, visionaries who we believed in us, like Gladys Knight. Right. She was the right. first one. Gladys Knight. Gladys Knight was the first one to reach her hand out to us. And Bobby Taylor, fellas. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Bobby, Taylor. Bobby Taylor. He had faith in all we did. And together, they brought us to the wonderful wizard of Motown, Barry Gordy. Where is he? Oh, wow. is he here? Barry Gordy. BG. 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 B B E R R G O D Y. Barry Gordy. Yes. Abner. Yes. BG. BG. We would like to say. We would like to say thank you for building your world of dreams around us. We're so glad that we found you. And there was Suzanne DePass. Remember Suzanne? Oh, yeah. Rehearsing us day and night right. until we got it right. I mean, she was very, very tough, but hey, we got it. Tell us what about the corporation. Oh, oh yes, yeah. the corporation. corporation. Guys like Freddie Parent, Deke Richards, Franz Mizell, and of course the chairman again. Thank you for writing the soundtrack of our lives. I'll be there. We were I'll there. there. Giving Woo. us the strength because the songs that kept holding us on. Also, uh, people like Dick Clark, uh, you were there to build a bridge between us and the new world. Dick Clark, yeah. <laughs> Don Cornelius, Don Cornelius uh, your Soul Train took us there. That's right. Soul Train. And Donnie Simpson, you were there talking about us on video. DJs like Butterball, right. Jimmy Woo. Bishop, Georgie Woods, Georgie Frankie Woods. Crocker, and Hal Jackson filled our hearts full of joy and laughter, played our music for the whole world. Thank you. Um, I concur with everything my brother said. You know, and I had a, a speech plan, but when you come out here, the moment is more magical than what I expect it to be. And it kind of throws things off course. First, let me say, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, for blessing us with the gift. I really appreciate it. I, I also want to give thanks to a person that's my strength, and it's been there for over 22 years. My wife, Carol, I want to say thank you. I love you dearly, and thank you for your support. Also, my, my kids, Valencia, Brittany, and Marlon, thanks for being great. My mom and dad, again, uh, my brothers mentioned, <laughs> noticing the gift that God gave us and did something about it. Made, uh, embellished it, nourished it, and made it possible for us to go out there and entertain for people. Then Motown took it and took it to the next step. Barry, I want to say thank you for working with us, giving us the chance, and making us part of your home. And Donna Ross, the same thing. You made us part of your home, made us feel like a family, and made us, uh, when we were produced uh, in the studio recording, Barry used to come in there, on, I remember on ABC, and he had this little tongue thing happening. <laughs> it, was, it was not quite right. He told the Deke Richards and Freddie, but it's not quite right, do it this way. And <laughs> they changed it, and we got in the studio, we did it, another number, another number one record for the Jackson Five. Steve Manning, I want to say thank you. Before the, before the Motown days, we did the Apollo Theater, and he was the first person to start the Jackson 5 Fan Club. Stand and up, I want to say, man, I, want, up, I want to say thank you, Steve. <laughs> and Percy, uh, Percy Sutton of the Apollo Theater, and Susie Aikato, who worked with Hal Davis in the studio with us. I want to thank um, John, Johnson. Uh, John Johnson of the Ebony and Jet, and Regina Jones of Soul. John McClain, thank you for your support and everything you've done with the brothers. And we want to thank our fans and the radio disc jockeys. Everything has played a part to get us to this moment today. And thank you for everything. Also, let's not forget <laughs> Cynthia Horner for Write On Magazine. Also. I'd like to say hello to my son, Siggy Jackson, out there. Stand up, Siggy. Stand up, Sig. <laughs> yeah. There you go, son. <laughs> uh, I'd like to say thank you to uh, all the people that played important parts of my life, uh, my three sons, Taj, Terrell, and TJ. Also, I can't forget my little baby brother, Randy Jackson. Ragu! This, this is, is yours, you. too, Randy. Uh, 
Randy wasn't in the Jackson Five, but let me tell you something. He played an important role in helping us get to this point, and he is a part of this, and we honor and cherish this with Randy as well. Thank you, Randy. Come on, Mike. Come on, little daddy. Come on, now. Come on, now. Let me put this. I'll take it for you. You take these. I'll take them for you, Mike. Um. <laughs> Um, I'd like to say to our family, our children, <laughs> our friends, and most of all, my mother and father. They're here tonight, my mother and father. You were there to protect us with unselfish love. Because you were there, we are here. Barry Gordy, I love you. Like Diana Ross, you were there, and now again, you are here. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> Barry, could you please join us up here right now? Barry Gord, I want you to know, in my heart and mind, you are a genius and a king. And without you, Barry Gordy, I don't think music would be the same today. complete symbolism because I, I know you're wondering uh, why he's standing here. This is my godson, Barry Gibbs' son, Michael Gibb. <laughs> Barry Gordy, you promised us four consecutive number one records and you delivered them all. I'll never forget it. It was a first in music history. And now, there's many more singles that went number one for the Jackson Five. Single after single. I'm not very good on the teleprompter, that's why <laughs> I have to look down. Um, your faith makes it possible for us to be here today. We love you from the bottom of our hearts, sincerely. And I just want you to know that without you, my mother and my father, I don't think we would be here. And of course, God. And to all the fans, I don't want to take too much time. You were there conditionally, <laughs> unconditionally. And I say thank you very much. Now we are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Say that again. Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Where the where? What? Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Oh, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. <laughs> yes, yes. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> what? What? Whenever you call our name, I don't like that angle. I like this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, w whenever you call our name, I promise, I love all of you, we'll be there. There. Thank you, Michael. Thank you, Jackson Five. Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon. Can you believe it? <laughs> it's been almost 30 years ago when you guys came to audition for me in Detroit, not too far from here. From that first day, your discipline, determination, and incredible talent inspired me. A short time later, you moved into my house in California and ate up everything. <laughs> 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 We worked hard and we played hard. The competition was fierce. The Gordy versus the Jacksons weekly baseball games. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. Yeah. These guys were phenomenal. We played hard, the Gordys, but they beat we us. Won. I know, I know, I know. Jackie, you were the star. You and Tito were stars. Michael was a little shaky. <laughs> Marlon, Marlon beat me in chess. So Backgammon too, leave that Okay, up. okay, backgammon too. Um, the, the cultural impact that these guys had on society was just incredible. The Jackson Five not only had hit records and were phenomenal performers, but they were a, a cultural revolution. For the first time, young black kids had their own heroes and their own image to idolize and emulate. The Jackson Five gave black kids in the ghetto a license to dream. And many, and many of those same kids went on to realize their own dreams. The Jackson, Jackson Five were an all-encompassing group. The ages went from Michael Nine to Jackie, who was 17. They had something for everybody. The girls went crazy. <laughs> they played the sold out arenas around the world. We had to have such heavy security on the Jackson Five, not to keep the fans from hurting them, but to keep them from loving them to death. Everybody had a Jackson to fall in love with, including my daughter, who married one. <laughs> um, if you don't remember where you've been, you won't know where you're going. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, by enshrining those who created and performed rock and roll, is perpetuating its history so that all musicians and artists, now and in the future, can look back and see how they evolved and how they created this great legacy. Thank you, Rock and Roll Hall of, Hall of Fame founders. And to you, Michael, Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, thank you for giving me the opportunity to say thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to say one more thing before I leave, and that is, I want to thank four guys. Thank you, Jermaine. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Tito. And thank you, Michael. Because without you four guys, there would not be a Jackson Five. And I thank you for the same ambition. And we did it. We worked hard, but we got it. And I want to thank everybody for this. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you.